Hi, I'm Dr. Suzanne Lehman, and I am a registered nurse and the director of a baccalaureate nursing program here in the Twin Cities. And I'm coming here today to just talk about the importance of health in the Black community and what all of us can do to make sure that we're the healthiest that we can possibly be. So a lot of my work is community-based nursing and healthcare work, but I also work um, in the hospital. I was a pediatric nurse, so I worked with children and families for a long time. And what I've learned is that there's two really big places where um, health and health disparities impact the black community. The biggest and the deepest impact comes from the systems that are in place that are um, racist systems. There's structural racism that prevents um, black folks and um, poor folks and a lot of different people, um, but particularly people of color from getting access to the, the care and the resources and the well-being that we deserved as deserve as human people, really. Um, and so I have, as a, as a Black woman growing up here and working here in healthcare, I've been impacted on a personal level. And then I've been also impacted, of course, on a professional level. It's part of what I do. And at the end of the day, we need to work collectively on both fronts. So the first front that I just mentioned was the systemic impact, the structures um, that prevent us from being as healthy as we possibly can be and having access and opportunity to the resources that we need. But the other part of that, that has to happen in parallel lines, moving down um, in, into the future, is the responsibility that we take for our own health on a day-to-day -day basis and the small choices that we make every single day. And it's a constant struggle. I know it is for myself. It is for my patients, my students, and the people that I work with as colleagues in healthcare. But if we're not healthy, um, all the, the ways that we connect in a web to each other, it, it starts to um, collapse, really. And so the investment that you make in yourself has the reverse um, impact. If you can take the time, and I know this especially as, as a woman, but um, for anybody, if you can take the time to invest in your own personal health and wellness, um, that is one of the, the biggest ways that you can impact not only yourself, but all of the people that you're around, because it has an, an effect that just kind of rolls out in waves. When people start seeing you do something that's healthy, and, it, and like I said, it can be really small. So I know that small changes um, have big, big impact, much bigger than the actual change itself. So I, I know things like making sure that you get the rest that you need, um, making a different food choice, and we don't have to change everything all at once. We can do it piece by piece, brick by brick. We can build that foundation um, for a, a health that will shelter us and keep us through all of the ups and downs of our life. So it's an investment that we make in, in ourselves and in each other and in our children, in our families, um, and in our communities. So um, as I said, I think the small choices, I just want to give an example. Um, if you make a small decision around food or health, I've seen this happen so many times where a small decision around what you're going to put into your body and um, really advocating for your own best health. People see that, so the people around you, they start to question and wonder about this new uh, thing, this new um, way that you've decided to bring health into your life and into your, your, um, your body, and people start to get curious. So you start to plant seeds of curiosity and you have then the ability to change not just your own immediate life and well-being, but the lives of those around you through one small change. When you make multiple changes, it can have uh, an even bigger and bigger impact on your wellness. So um, start small. Know that a lot of the things that deeply impact us are going to require a collective change um, around health and healthcare. care. Um, 
things that are bigger than any one of us individually, but if we band together and we have conversations like the ones that are gonna happen as a part of VFest, um, whenever we come together in community, we have the opportunity to exchange information, tell stories, and um, become healthier as a community. So thank you, and I hope you enjoy um, the activities and the collaborations and the connection that come out of VFest. Thank you. Well, very, thank you. That was, that was well, thank you. Well said, thank you. Well put. Okay. Thank you. Um, so what you needed? No, that, that's, that's more, than, more than what I needed. Mm. Um, you have a, a very gracious way of, you know, at putting the urgency uh, to it and uh, necessary dialogue to continue the conversation. So thank you so much. Uh, yes, yes. I can't well, think of I anything off the top of my head. Um, I can't really uh, think of anything. Else. I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy, by the way. Like, is there anything You're else being what? Else? I'm being greedy. Is there anything else I want her to... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, if you have any, like, personal... Do you have any personal testimonies that you can share with um, someone you know or you have seen? Uh, that had a case where they visited the doctor and they said, hey, if you don't change this, this is going to happen. And that person um, took it upon themselves to make the necessary changes. And now that they did, they have eliminated the possibility of disease um, and other possible ailments or pains in their body. Um. You know, a lot of the work that I do is, um, other than my direct patient care in the community, um, which I would say for a lot of the people that, that I see and get an opportunity to talk to, it's, it's a process. So something that, that I heard recently that I love is a lot of times we get so fixated on the goal or the outcome that we forget that life is about a process. So when you're trying to make a change towards a different reality, so like you, you see for yourself that you're, you want your life to look a particular way. You have a vision for yourself. You do visualization. You set intentions. Maybe you write things out. And you imagine, who is it that I want to be a year from now, five years from now, whatever it is. People get so fixated on that endpoint that they'll drive themselves to dramatic you know, um, steps. Um, and sometimes they burn themselves out and they get the, the, the change feels so big that people get overwhelmed and they stop. So what I would say is that from my experience, it's waking up every day and putting in a process. Let the process be your goal. Let the process be your goal because there's so many things that can intervene and throw you off course. I mean, life throws you one curveball, and then you put your health on hold, right? Because it's easier to default back to the things that we've been doing that don't serve us because that's how, you know, we grew up or, or um, it's the easiest thing to do when you're under a lot of stress. But you, you want to create a process where you're making those choices every single day so that the focus is on the development of a process that actually works for you. You know, a lot of stuff that's out in the media and a lot of stuff, you know, this is one of the things that's always been a tough thing for me as a person that was um, educated in Western healthcare and, and um, medicine and nursing is that, um, there's a lot of these expectations about what we should do and how we should do it. But the, the problem that I have with that is that that is not big enough to include people of color a lot of times. So when we talk about um, mental health and we talk about being healthy mentally, a lot of times it comes down to um, things like medication and talk therapy, right? But we know that especially uh, traditional healing um, methods, it's much bigger than that. It's about dance, 
It's about singing. It's about coming together with people. It's about being out in nature. It's so think about if, if it feels like certain things are not going to fit for you. Sometimes what you need to do is widen your lens. Your lens needs to get bigger. Um, and sometimes the people that you're around need to get bigger. So like opportunities like VFest and other opportunities where we come together as a community and we start sharing ideas and we start thinking creatively about what it is that we need and, and realistically too, like what's going to fit into our life to make us healthy. It may not look like what's been described by, uh, you know, the Western medical community or, um, you know, what we see on social media sometimes, depending on who's behind that, that message. So I just want to encourage people to know that we all have a blueprint for our healing. It's inside of us and we know it. It hits a truth chord inside of us when we hear it and when we're around people that encourage us to, to take those paths. But I think there's a lot of structural things that can get us off that path. So um, just, I guess, have compassion for yourself and know that, that you have the capacity to be healthy. It's possible. And that's what I see in my practice. I see people getting up every single day and making a decision. They want to live a life that's healthy. They want to be in a process, engaged in a process that's about their, um, their health and not their illness. So. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. No, uh, that, was, that, hit, that hit me. So <clears throat> definitely some vibratory words um, that you share. So thank you so much for... Uh, sharing your time and space and using all your experience and education to um, touch someone who will see this video. Um, I'm, I know for a fact it's someone out there that needs to hear this message. Um, you have a light um, around you. You have a light in you and you're, you're really speaking truth and the truth will prevail and reside in the hearts that needs to hear it at that particular time. So thank you so much for sharing this space with me. Um, yeah. It's so important that we begin this journey um, controlling the narrative, uh, creating platforms and opportunities for us to come together, um, mm -hmm. living healthy, around our abundance, around um, you know, our, our sovereignty to live the best we can and, and without outside forces to get us to be addicted to man-made um, ingredients and, and food. Um, yes. Yeah. Live healthy and look Gardening. our Gardening. <laughs> Yes. growing our own food mm -hmm. i mean yeah there's there's a lot of things that yes. um we we have done as a people that um for lots of different reasons we've gotten away from mm -hmm. and we just need to make a circle back life is about a circle we need to come back to that and come back to who we are yeah it's really important so all right my love well Good luck to you and your your mama and your your little baby that's on the way. Um, I'm so excited for you guys. Thank you. Thank yeah, you I hope it's a beautiful experience. Ah, 